fuck my ass. I just creamed. I just steamed. I'm shooting a laser beam. I just shit my fucking pants. A weird thumbnail. A weird thumbnail. Oh yeah! What's up, everybody? Welcome uh, to this afternoon anything goes podcast live. Q&A really is what it is. This is a live Q&A, anything goes. Um, sometimes I host them from here on Corrupted Nation. Other times I host it from the Joe Cronin Show channel. Most of them are over on Joe Cronin Show channel, but because that is mostly a pro wrestling review and sports channel, um, you know, I was meaning to bring it over here mostly, but so I figured we get back to that being over here a little bit more. Despite the fact that I'll have less viewers, less people will be here. That's fine. You know, um, I don't want to alienate the people over there like, oh, man, what is this? You know, you can talk about anything you want, I guess. I don't know how long this is going to be. I could be live for 10 minutes. I could be live for an hour. I don't know what's going to happen. But, um, you know, it's been a while since we've done enough well it's not been a while i think it'll, maybe like a week or two weeks or something since we were live here it feels like forever though you know when you really should be doing something every day or every other day over here and i don't even know if youtube is going to send this video out to everybody right now el gallo de oro what is up sir speaking of him i actually just added you to the list of uh producers um, my friend, in the right way, too. Although I don't know if you're still on there, but I'm going to put you on there for a month anyway because you were here for a while before it got added. So I just got the producer's levels updated on uh, Patreon, so those will be coming out. Um, by tonight's Out of Nowhere, it should be um, listed correctly with all the different producer uh, credits and everything else like that. And because we were doing Out of Nowhere tonight, too, that's another reason why I didn't want to do it over on my other channel. I keep it really in-house over here with you guys. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I don't fucking know. I, I'm not very awake right now. Uh, the allergies are wearing me down a little bit. Um, this happened last year where I spent a week just kind of in a haze. Um, and every day it's sort of a haze. And I did. Uh, we did lose our TV the other day, and uh, that was very horrific. A lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about what happened with the TV. I don't know why that is but uh i mean i'll try to clarify all that now because i tweeted it out like hey this this is what's going on i'm, I'm pretty pissed off you know um i'll tell you about what happened in a, in, a, in a few minutes as we get into this a little bit more um of course uh what's up carl Matz? how you doing man carl 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 Matz is a long time supporter good guy what's up to the chat Joe, I'm at work. Fuck it. I'll get fired for you, brother. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ, man. Um, buenos noches. Uh, buenos uh, tardes. Buenos tardes. It's not It's not nighttime. It's like the afternoon. I have no idea what time it is right now. Um, fuck Best Buy. Yeah, they suck. There's no... Um, By the way, Michael Beck was the first person in here. Shout out to Michael Beck. Um... Yeah, there's no warranty plan on these TVs anymore, on the screens. There's a plan on the TV itself, kind of, but they're not on the, on the uh, on the screens. So there's nothing I can do. When I bought the TV, I said that. I said, hey, can I buy the, like, whatever the fucking protection plan is on the screen? 
on the whole TV, on whatever. I just need to buy it. I got kids. They break stuff. The guy was like, oh, there's no warranty on the screen no matter what if you break the screen. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, there's nothing you can buy. If you break the screen, that's it. And I'm like, okay. So, uh, of course, we're four months Super in. Jet. Super jet. Goodbye screen. TV broke just means better WWE Joe ratings. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Uh, the Goon. What up, Goon? Thanks for the for the two bucks, man. Or was it three bucks? I can't remember. Let me go look. Uh, Goon, thank you, man. Appreciate that, dude. Thanks for the two bucks. It's going, uh, it's, it's, um, you know, it's, uh, I, I've just, I, there's no, I don't want to cry about shit. I just want to sit here and listen to you guys and let you guys steer the show with whatever you guys want to talk about. I felt I had to come on to do something after my AEW video. There's Game of Thrones, the situation with Game of Thrones, that's still going on, uh, of course, uh, you know, Star Wars, there's a bunch of news here that I'm going to talk about a little bit if I can, if I get the time to do it. Uh, my TV had a warranty at Best Buy, Joe. Really? I mean, I said that. There, there is a warranty. You can get a warranty, but apparently not for the, for the screen, the guy said. I mean, I literally asked, like, two guys at Best Buy, like, the guys that were selling me the TV. I was like, dude, what's the war what kind of warranty can I get on this thing? I don't think you can get a screen fixed on a 75-inch TV. I don't even think you can do it, you know, to be honest. I mean, uh, I'll call Best Buy. But here's here's how I know that. Here's how at least I thought I knew this is because the last... Remember when I broke the last TV? I broke the other TV by accident. Um, I called Best Buy and was like, hey, what's up? Uh, I broke my screen. They were like, oh, yeah, we don't fix that. That's There's nothing you can do. They told me there's nothing I can do. And I was like, do I have the warranty and whatever? And they were like, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'll, I'll check it out on Best Buy website and see what it says I have. But I don't know, man. I just... <sighs> it's pretty depressing. It's pretty horrific. That's the most expensive... Uh... Like like I said, I said this on Patreon to all the patrons. Everybody listen to my Morning Madness episode um, if, if you're a patron. And if you're not a Patreon person... Jump on over there. Um, is that, um, you know, I kind of did something stupid. You know, I went down to Best Buy and I said, well, let me open up a credit card. I want to get a TV for the basement. You know, I mean, like, I, I always wanted to have a TV in the basement. And it's a pretty big basement. So I was like, let's get a big fucking TV. We've already got the surround sound. And the surround sound system that I have was free because I won it at my previous job. I won it. I won a $2,000 surround sound system at my old job. So that's right there. Sound is everything. And I was like, let's just get a big fucking picture too. Like, fuck it. I'm going to open up a Best Buy credit card, you know? And uh, I did, like an idiot. I was like, oh, how much is the credit line? They gave me a $1,300 credit line. And I, t I, t I bought a $1,000 TV. I never do shit like that. I never do that. But I was like, you know what? 30 bucks a month? Fuck it. 30 bucks a month? Let's get a fucking TV, you know, let's get a big TV. And the TV upstairs is a piece of shit because the other one broke. So we replaced it quickly with a $280 one or something like that. And um, for the basement, I was like, we can watch movies, Game of Thrones, you know, an NHL hockey season. I, I know this is retarded, but I couldn't wait. I could not wait to watch the the Bruins, the Boston Bruins, in the playoffs and maybe make it to the Stanley Cup and watch it on this fucking huge TV with surround sound. I was, I couldn't believe it, you know what I mean? But like, so like an idiot, I bought this $1,000 TV with a Best Buy credit card, like an idiot, and um, we had four months, and the other day, my kids, I was in my office, and my door was open. I was kind of watching them. You know, we went upstairs. I, went, I was going outside to work on the table uh, that we have out back that we we got. And uh, I came downstairs to go on the computer to look up how to put it together the right way because I think I was doing it wrong. So I was like, let me take a look at what this thing looks like. So I'm sitting here like five minutes, five minutes on the computer, maybe like 15 minutes actually realistically. And, you know, I, look, I looked at the kids. They're on the couch watching cartoons. The three-year-old and the five-year-old sitting there on the couch watching cartoons. Now, when my uh, when my three-year-old gets angry, a lot of times my three-year-old gets angry at the five-year-old because she takes stuff from him. And he'll be like, no! 
and he'll like throw stuff or like like hit you, you know, because he's like ridiculous. And Brenna's always taking stuff from him. So I heard her. Um, first, I heard her yelling. I thought yelling, "Daddy, daddy!" And I'm like, "You have to see this. You have to see this." And I and I was like, "What?" And I said, "I heard her run by, and she ran upstairs. I ran away." I'm like, I'm down here, you know, I'm down here, and I'm like, ah, oh, whatever, back to the, whatever I was doing, and uh, she eventually came downstairs and was like, oh, he broke, the, Finn broke the TV, and I was like, what TV? She's like, the big one, and I'm like, what are you talking about? And uh, I came out of the room, and I just see the big fucking mangled picture, and I just was like, you got to be kidding me, like, but but at the same time, like, I was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Dude, the sound that came like people don't people don't understand when they saw this. They were like, "Oh, just go here's another one for whatever." This was a seventy five inch TV that was originally fifteen hundred dollars on sale for. I actually cost me eight hundred dollars on the Best Buy card, right? Um, which was dumb to get, right? So there it is, and you can see where he clearly threw something at it, and it was just like. That was just devastating. Shit bomb! To me. Hey man, sorry about your TV. Nothing worse than not having a TV when playoffs are on. Oh yeah. I'm giving away my Cody t-shirt since the cuck blocked me. Believe it was for the Dukes of Hazard comment from a while ago. Wow. Are you kidding? I saw that on Twitter actually, John. Um, I don't know what to do about Cody, man. That's awful. Yeah, we I, basically what happened was they were talking about Cody posted about the uh, the Confederate flag, and um, Cody Rhodes posted about the Confederate flag and like basically like oh you're a shithead if you still have this or wear this anymore, and that type of thing. Now, from my point of view, I'm from fucking Boston. You know, we don't give we don't care about the Confederate flag. We don't know the Confederate flag, but I grew up watching the Dukes of Hazard, right? Dukes of Hazard generally. General Lee always had the flag on top of it, the Confederate flag. And I know and I know to a lot of white and black people down south, they don't care. They just see the Confederate flag now as a symbol of the South. Whereas before it might have been a symbol of you know what I mean, South, but also the support of the you know, of anything southern which at the time also was slavery. So I get that. So I kinda made a joke to Cody that was like, So do I have to throw out my Dukes of Hazard T shirt now? You know what Super I mean? Jet. Super jet. Did you do refinance option on card? Six months, no int. Um, I, you know what? I don't think so, goon. I think I owe a lot of money on this thing. I think I, I I'm gonna, I still have to pay on this TV for probably another year. I'll have to pay another year on this TV that I don't even have. So that, that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, that's it. And congratulations to Jasmine Roberts on the baby. I heard about that. That's sick. You know, I don't like flags. I don't like flags. I'm not a big flag person, you know? Confederate flag, this flag, you know, I don't, I don't really give a shit. But the point is, I like to show Dukes of Hazard. So I'm like, do I have to worry if I'm walking around with, like, the Dukes of Hazard t shirt? Like, I'm, I'm actually scared. To wear a Dukes of Hazard t-shirt. Because if I wear a Dukes of Hazard t-shirt and like the General Lee's in the thing with the Confederate flag on it, people are going to be like, oh, Confederate flag? Oh, you're you racist piece of shit? And it's like, no. It's the General Lee. And, and, and fucking Dukes of Hazard is so old at this point now that like people who are like under 27 don't even know what the hell it is. So it's it, that's the that's the big problem. Got your TV, I got to go to my doctor's APPT. Damn. Also, it's my grandpa's 86th birthday today. See you tonight for Out of Nowhere. Bry Guy, thank you so much, ma'am. And congr good luck with that doctor's appointment. I hope it works out. Um, And thank you, man. It's, hey, it's just a TV. A lot of people are going through like, hey, I'm losing my house or I'm losing my car or I'm losing my family member or something like that a fucking broken tv i mean it's just kind of funny at this point you know what i mean um you know it, it i back in the day i would just be like eh 
you know, but it's just so it, it was it's so personal now to me, like that because so many things that that you work for, it sucks. But yeah, Jasmine, I'm so happy for you. It's awesome. But yeah, I don't know, man. With Jaff ninety four, uh, Troy's not gone, man. And by the way, the only open liberal was Troy. I don't really, I wouldn't consider Troy an open liberal, you know. Or you mean open like, op like he's saying he's a liberal. I always said I was a liberal on the show. You you know me back in the day. I used to always say I was liberal. I am pretty much still, you know. Um, Troy Troy always said he's liberal. Yeah, so he's open. I guess that's what you mean. Like he's open to say he's liberal. Yeah. I I, I don't like I don't like I guess I guess I don't agree, man. I I don't really like liberal or or, or conservative tags or Democrat Republican. I don't care. I think all those things suck. I just, I'm just me. I'm like, uh, I think for myself, and I grab from whatever side I think I want to grab from, and then I create my own thing. Um, you could categorize where I fall in those lines if you wanted to, I guess. But I don't like putting that pin on that that direct name of I am this or that because then you're become one of these people that support anybody in your party or anybody on that side or anybody. Uh, at all, whereas I, I, I'm at the point where I'd rather kind of look in, um, you know, it's not that I'm not, it's not that I'm afraid to call myself liberal, I'm not, because I used to call myself liberal all the time, so that's not even what it is, you know, it's just, um, yeah, li liberals now isn't liberal, I'm whatever liberal was probably in the 90s or something like that, I don't know, but not that liberal because then I, whatever. And also, the other thing is too is I, I, I may also be, I may lean more right, more left. I may lean more democratic and liberal or whatever. But I also sometimes see, I see what people on the right are talking about with things. Where And then what happens is I've noticed is if you even see the point of view of the other person, you get in trouble for that. You know what I mean? I don't know. My kids are summoning me for something. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Hang on a minute. All right, we're having meltdowns here. All right, well, don't hurt you. Don't just what as long as you don't hurt your sister with it, that's fine to me. Just don't just okay, be good. <laughs> What's up? S. Dollar in the chat. What's up, S. Dollar? Um, I will not support Joe Biden. Yeah, I, I won't. So I wouldn't support Joe Biden either. I would go Bernie, you know, over B Biden. I feel like, um, you know, they sat, you know, even though, even though, and I don't want to turn this podcast into politics, but it seems like you guys have. <laughs> so, and it's anything goes. So here we are. Um, to me, I feel like they did anything they could to sabotage Bernie. And while I have been open, while I've been, I'm angry at Bernie Sanders. I'm angry at him for giving in to Hillary at the end when they fucked him over. They, they destroyed Bernie Sanders and he just rolled over. Um, but they're doing it again and they're bringing in their, their old buddy Biden and, uh, that's irritating, man. I almost, um, even though I said I would never support Bernie again, I almost want to because they're doing it again and I, they're just a bunch of bullies. Uh, but Bernie's a liar to me anyway. So like, I don't really believe anybody. So, um, you know. Not really a fan of anybody. I'm not a fan of anybody. That's why I. That's why I did not vote last time. 
I always like the term conservative Democrat. I'm liberal from economic and social aspect. And what's up, Jeff94? Yeah, I love you, man. How about having three houses and a $120,000 Audi? Audi. Oh, the car. What's up, Dave Rose? Yeah, it's true. Bernie is a bit of a weirdo. Here's what I don't like. Here's the thing for me, right? Like, here's the dangerous thing with, like, like Ocasio-Cortez or whatever her fucking name is. She came out with that whole thing about, um, you know, just giving any anybody over, like, it's over $10 million. If you make over $10 million, then you have to give, like, 75% of it, like, whatever to taxes or whatever it is. And it's like, that... Like that'd be fine if like what about the what about the businesses though like that's the that's what I'm concerned about, like the businesses are gonna get away, the 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 companies the businesses the you know the crazy CEOs and those people that found a loophole, their money is all in foreign banks and all these other things and they're just gonna keep getting away with it and keep keep having be like multiple zillionaires and stuff like that, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna overtax people who are starting small businesses right. You're going to overtax people who started like Facebook originally, overtax people who started, you know, like um, pickmonkey.com or whatever the hell, or you know what I mean? Like fanduel.com or they're probably really rich, but you know what I mean? Like um, I think I was listening to, um, I was listening to Bill Burr and he was talking about how it's, it's like the Dollar Shave Club guys, startup businesses. So anybody who starts up a business, so like if I start up a business and I create like you know what I mean? A company about something, and we all of a sudden we, we you know we get some money and we become a good enough company, and you know maybe I make twelve million dollars a year, and the company is making you know hundreds and whatever the fucking makes twenty million, fifty million dollars a year, and I have like eight employees, you know, and you're growing and growing and you're creating jobs and you're hiring, and you'll be charged seventy five percent in taxes. You know what I mean? Like that's the thing where it's like. But 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 meanwhile, the mega corporations, those guys are all going to get away with it. Like they are all going to get away with it. Um, Puerto Rico, what's up? Uh, what's up, Davis Station? <laughs> Davis Station, Jesus. Um, also, shout out to Puerto Rico, man. It's been a while since I've heard from a couple of my friends out there. I I remember a couple guys that I always heard from for like years, and then the. Uh, when the hurricane happened, I can remember speaking to uh was a Puerto Rican beast and he still had no power. It was like m- like months later, like 4 months later or something like that. And he still didn't have power, man. Like that is so wrong and messed up that it's it's crazy. Like they, it, that's I just don't know how that's possible. How we can't figure that out. Somebody, and I'm not blaming anybody. I just it doesn't matter who de- who who figures it out. Somebody figure it out so that in the future, when a place is devastated by a hurricane, you know, hopefully within a couple weeks, if not earlier, you'll have power to everybody, no matter what the case is. Create. A- Imagine if we worked for that. Yeah, hell yeah. We could. Honestly, if you want a close viewpoint on what a Bernie Ran country would look like, look at the new Mexican president. They share similar policies and viewpoints. Yeah. The new Mexican re- uh, new Mexican restaurant, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jav ninety four, what's up, man? Yeah, but you know what? We don't. What, what has he done though? Like, does he have enough uh, time under his belt that we could really figure out what's been going on? You know, EverSource Energy is trash. <laughs> That's funny because I have EverSource <laughs> myself, so I have EverSource. I saw that in the chat and was like, "Hey, that's my electric company." Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. Jaff94, thank you for the 316, man. That's fucking funny. Imagine if places like Puerto Rico would figure it out. Yeah, I blame the I blame the Puerto Rican government and the execution of the uh, people who were in charge of the trucks and all that stuff. And I, um, I, I, I blame the government and Trump a little bit. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, kind of like... It's sort of like if I showed up to your house, right? I show up to your house to deliver water. Or, I don't, I don't, I'm trying to think of a good analogy. It's kind of like you show up, you realize something is wrong everywhere, but you dr- just drop the food off and you go, well, here's the food. Dropped it off. I'll see you later. Super you know? chat party. 
Sup, Troy the soy boy blocked old Salvia on JCS. Oh, no. Salvia toast? You got blocked by Troy? That sucks. You probably pissed him off. Well, I can't believe that other guy got blocked by, um... Got blocked by uh, Cody Rhodes. You know what I mean? Um, I'm wonder. I was wondering if I was blocked by Cody Rhodes too. You know, obviously, like I'm, I'm not a Southern person. I don't care about the Confederate flag. I just watched a TV show called Dukes of Hazard, so I made a joke like, "Oh shit, should I throw my Dukes of Hazard shit out?" And then people were shitting on me. People were saying that to me. They were like, "Uh, yeah," like they were like, "Yeah," unless you're a racist. I. It was a TV show. The TV show put the Confederate flag on the car. It had nothing to do with racism. It had to do with a, a goofy TV show. In fact, in fact, the white guys were always in trouble on the show. <laughs> the white guys were the guys in trouble all the time. It had nothing to do with race or anything. It was a goofy TV show. Go goofy with a southern theme TV show. And had nothing to do with anything about race for the most part that I could tell and I was a kid by the way I was a fucking four year old when I watched it so then like what I bought a Dukes of Hazzard t-shirt when I was 16 hey Dukes of Hazzard they sold them at all the hot topics they sold them at the stores hey Dukes of Hazzard like it's funny now I wear the t-shirt and I'm called like a white supremacist like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> white supremacist like what the hell I don't know dude nobody gives a fuck None of my, and I, I wrote that to the guy. I go, dude, none of my black friends give a fuck. None, no, none of my other friends give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. Unless you're out there saying something really horrific while wearing something like that, you know, or you look like a full-on hillbilly and you're a shithead, you know, I mean, like, I, nobody, nobody that I know gives a shit, like... And uh, the fact that you call me a white supremacist because I had a Dukes of Hazard t-shirt on... Is a, is a really retarded statement, and also you basically, you basically um, are giving way more power to white supremacists than they deserve, because they're probably there's probably only really like a few thousand of these retards in our country still, you know, like real actual hateful crazy people. There's probably like maybe let's say ten thousand. Now there's probably a whole bunch of other people who are racist and stupid and stuff like that. Yeah, but there, but like really hardcore like psychos probably like 10,000, right? I mean, maybe there's more. Maybe it's more. Maybe 50,000. I don't know. But either way, is there a small minority of retards who like fucking can't get over fucking race and color? So they have to wave flags around and fucking have little marches that nobody gives a shit about. Um, you know what I mean? It, it's they're they're so insignificant. And if they got any bigger, it'd be funny cuz then we could beat the shit out of them. I mean, who cares? Um let me see here. I don't know. What else do we got? Take yourself down to the old town road. <laughs> Fucking Jasmine Roberts. I can't wait till that baby comes out and everybody realizes it's mine. How about that, Jasmine? Wait till everybody finds out that I left Leah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, mm, I'm so fucking itchy. My face is itchy. My sides are itchy. I look like my my hat's all fucked up. Look at this hat; it's all mangled. I got this shit face stash. I just shaved my face at this point. I mean, I look retarded. Co Cody must have thought we were racist. I don't know what Cody Rhodes is. Ridiculous. Uh, Puerto Rico. Yeah, it's cool. It's the age of pussies. Commanda Armin is proof of that. Yeah, well, I think Commanda Armin is, uh, needs some fucking, I don't know, man. Who knows to these people? So many people are crying all the time. I think they, like, purposely set themselves up to cry. You know what I mean? Look at, look at how Tommy NC's channel blew up. He wanted to fight people, and I said, no, no, play victim. I was right. Playing victim works crazy. It works on all of us guys. It works on you guys. You know what I mean? If somebody from one of the shows plays victim, people are going to believe it. You know, if something happens, people can say almost anything. Even I can. I could say almost anything, and so can any other 
co-hosts and people that you know go, can say almost anything. Everybody get, get mad. Go, about to get it, man. Here we go. It's the power. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 no. About time I got back on Patreon. Finally able to come back. What up, Joe? And forget these race baiting assholes. I agree, man. You piece of shit. Johnny Ray Sinister. Thank you, Johnny Ray Sinister. I felt like I needed to come on here, number one, to just do something in the middle of the day. And number two, I needed, like, some therapy with you guys. So, Johnny Ray, thank you for coming back to the Patreon. I put a Morning Madness up yesterday. There's going to be one coming up today. And um, tonight is out of nowhere, so we'll talk a lot of wrestling on out of nowhere. Had a question, but I can't post on Patreon. Arknolia Strokelbean, why can't you post on Patreon? You're like a fucking, you're like a legend over there. You're a, you're a producer. Arknolia Strokelbean, what, let me know what the hell's up with that, man. Also, if you want a wrench, I'll give you one, Arknolia. Just let me know. Sorry about my TV. Yeah, thank you, man. We talked about it earlier a few minutes ago, and it's just, just bad luck, man. The, the kid, poor little kid, didn't know what he was doing. He just threw something. Like an idiot, I bought a TV that was worth... It was like a $1,000 TV. Like a moron, I bought it on a credit card, and it's broken in four months, and I'll be paying for it for another year. So I'm a dumbass. It's my dumbass fault. Should have never gotten a TV that big. Should have just stuck with some cheap thing, put it in there, and waited till the kids were a little bit older, and then put something in there. You know, that's really what should have happened. I should have waited till the kids stopped throwing stuff. So, like, you know, even with that, they still could be playing around in the basement and break it by accident. Like, it still happened. I knew that could happen. Um, but, you know, it, whatever it is. just It really put me out, though. I just couldn't I couldn't focus on shit yesterday. And I still, I'm still not feeling too good. Zach McNulty, what up, Zach? Game of Thrones, man. What do you guys think about this? I don't know. I mean, spoiler alert, I guess, you know, for anybody who doesn't want to talk about Game of Thrones that's like in the third season or something. But this is, I'm sure it's been spoiled for almost everybody because even on Yahoo News, like it's like spoilers all over Yahoo News. I'm like, Jesus, oh, that's a spoiler to anybody who didn't, you know, was just scrolling through. No, you can't buy a warranty on this TV, um, SM3RV. There's no, there's no warranty. Um, if you buy the warranty, it covers like, uh, it doesn't cover the screen being broken. I asked them about that. I said, I'll buy the, uh, let me give me the four year warranty on the screen or whatever. I'll pay. I don't care if it's 200 bucks, 300 bucks, I'll buy it. And the guy was like, Oh, um, there's no warranty on the screen. So even if you smash the screen, it's still going to be whatever. And I was like, fuck Arknolia. Why can't you post on Patreon, why I have no idea why you can't. What are you trying to post on Patreon, and why isn't it? What do you mean it won't let you post on Patreon? I'm pissed. Um, what the fuck, really? Why can't you? I'm going over to Patreon now, and I'm looking at your um, active patrons. By the way, anybody anybody who upgrades to a $25 Patreon, you should see your producer credit tonight on the show if you haven't seen it already. Uh, let me see here. Let me take a look. And anybody that can increase their pledge, it's always welcome because uh, you guys are making this channel possible right now. All my shit possible. So we got Matt Moon at a hundred bucks, Daryl Stoltz at a hundred bucks a month, by the way, uh, Justin McNeil, and um, I want to say thank you to Justin McNeil, by the way. Justin McNeil has been at a hundred dollars for a long time. He's at he's uh, contributed over one thousand six hundred and thirty five dollars to the channel. So Justin McNeil, thank you. Gary Metzler. Uh, is at 50, Mikey Tukreki at 35, Mike Waz at 25, Saul is somebody else, I don't know if he wants his name said, so I won't say it, um, but thank you to Saul, TJ, Andrew Ryan, Arknolia Strokelbean, there you are, you're paid and you're active, so I don't know why that you wouldn't be able to comment, I'm going to have to talk with you offline, um, also shout out to, um, uh, De Gallo there, Mr. De Gallo, the the golden cock or whatever his name is, for also being a twenty five dollar patron. J Men Ace, Gerald Armstrong, J R Ford the Third. Um 
Yeah, J.R. Ford the third, Nikki J. Nikki J. Jabroni Jabber Podcast. Frog Kid, my man. Trey Hendrickson. All you guys are beasts. Ryan Pelletier, Big Matt, Jason Tarr, Awandi Big M, Coop the Comedian. And then we also got Star Scream, CJ Bradley, and Broken Lion. Thank you guys for the massive support um, at the $25 or above tiers. Um, and yeah, Arknolia Strokel Bean, you should be able to comment. You should be able to comment all over the place. And thanks to Johnny Ray Sinister for joining up at a $10 VIP uh, slot as well. And there, I think we got every, everybody out of the way there. Um, Joe, you haven't done any shows for the $10 tier in a month. Yeah, it's true. I haven't. I have um, one that I haven't released yet. And then I have me and Tommy's Honestly that's coming tomorrow. So me and Leah's podcast was supposed to be a two-parter, but we never got down to recording the second part. So I'm just going to release it, I guess, tomorrow. I also didn't want to release it last week when I had all that other stuff coming out. And I haven't heard from Justin Bailey at all. I've on Friday mornings, he doesn't I don't know, he just I don't think he I don't know, man. I reached out to him. He doesn't seem to want to do the podcast anymore. Um he shows up he's going to show up to monetize this probably or corrupted maybe this week. Corrupted episode 100 is Saturday night. But um yeah, I don't know what's up with that. So we should have a lot more content coming this week again. <sighs> Yeah. It's true. It's been about a month. Smoke weed every day. Or a couple weeks. DA Weed God is here taking a break from power washing house. DID, you get my pat message. Love you, Joe. Um, Nikki J, what up? Yeah, I haven't answered your Patreon message yet, but I do see it. So, yeah, that's the good news. It's in there. I'll have to respond to you, or I'll just take a look at it right now. I answered a bunch last night. I, I did like, I actually had like 20 messages last night on Patreon. <laughs> It's a lot easier to answer than Twitter. Do not know if you've heard this, but I thought I would send it to you. That's what Nikki J sent me, and it is. Oh yeah, I've heard this. I've heard this. Uh, uh, you know, it was. I'll bring that up on um maybe out of nowhere tonight, Nikki J, since it's a wrestling stuff. I mean, I we could talk about it right now. It's anything goes, but I might bring that up tonight on out of nowhere. Um. Anything? Well, let me see what else people sent me on. No, there's only two more messages on Patreon. Um, he'll be back. Yeah, Michael, he'll be back. Yeah, we had a hiccup on Patreon, no doubt about it. I apologize for that. That's that's true, Michael Keen. Michael, uh, appreciate that. I I'm very aware of it though that it's a mess. Um. Me and me and Dave Rose will probably record something this week because I'm pretty motivated to record some stuff. So Dave Rose has always been available. Dave Rose has been available just about every day all week to do something. And because of stuff going on here, I didn't get anything done with him. So me and Dave Rose will probably get something recorded. Uh, me and Tommy already have, honestly, ready to go. And uh, I have part one with me and Leah that I can release, even though we didn't do the part two. I wanted to wait till we had both. So that was me waiting on that. So this week on Patreon is going to be a big week. So $10 tier stuff will be there. And, you know, there'll be probably a, a, also I'll do like a little podcast for people that are 25 and above just to say what's up and, and to talk about some things behind the scenes, I guess. And um, what else is there? I don't, I don't know. Um, put your phone down for a week and you might have an extra hundred bucks in your pocket every day. What does that mean, Jay? What are you talking about? No, well, I don't know what he, I guess I don't know what that means. I know I do shows every, I know I do shows every day and I do morning madness every morning, but yeah, there was just, um, there's more content that I want on Patreon. We had a good run for a couple months, and then last week and a half, two weeks, it was really quiet. Uh, Tommy sent the belt, so yeah, Jake DeMarco. I, I thought Jake DeMarco may actually get the belt today, have it four out of nowhere. It's possible. He may not get it till tomorrow or Friday, but it is possible that he could have it. 
everybody's asking me about James Charles. What the frig is going on with that? I don't, I don't, I'm out of the loop on this James Charles thing. James Charles from Coverboy to Cancelled. James Charles is an American internet personality and makeup artist. He became first male ambassador for CoverGirl. Uh, James Charles' clothing line reportedly pulled amid Taddy Westbrook feud. What feud? What the hell's going on? I don't get it. Um, James Charles and Taddy Westbrook. I don't even know who that is. Clothing line shop of CoverGirl's first male brand ambassador is reportedly down as its parent company has appeared to pull the collection entirely. She described it as the hardest video I've ever had to make. The 19-year-old influencer apparently had shared an unsponsored Instagram story for celebrity favorite Sugar Bear hair products. What the fuck? Is, what are we talking about? What is this? Hi all, James here. Um, I'm currently traveling abroad and just woke up, but I wanted to sit down and make a video addressing everything that's going on right now. Um, because I owe, everybody, I owe everybody an explanation, um, but most importantly, I owe two important people um, an apology. To Tati and James. What happened? I don't get what's going on. Um, what is this? I'm sorry for everything that is going on and everything that I've put you through over the past few weeks. I met Tati and James almost three years ago now, when I was first coming into the industry and when I had no friends. Man, I'd bang this guy. Um, I don't, I don't understand. Like, can somebody sum this up a little bit easier for me? Like, I'm confused about this whole thing. I feel bad. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't, I don't know what's happening. Joe, go to Keem Stars channel. It's funny. He's also known for makeup tutorials. Who ca I mean, what's wrong with him? I don't. I guess I don't get it. Let me. It, Jesus Christ. What is this? Um. Losing subs. Oh yeah, yeah, I heard he was losing subs the other day. I don't quite get why. Let me see what Keemstar says. Fucking idiot. And I have never, ever seen anything remotely like this. Now, a lot of people outside of the beauty community are confused on what's happening. I they am. They know of James Charles. They heard of James Charles, but they don't understand, like, really this tea and, and what transpired to make this happen. And to answer that, it's just a lot of little things. Last month, a guy came forward explaining what happened between him and James Charles. And what this guy said was this, that basically he is a straight guy and that James Charles used his money, used his fame to try to do it with a straight guy. Like he was trying to pressure him into sexual things over and over and over again. So in other words, this is... um. It's like the same thing as uh, the guy from What Culture, our buddy from What Culture, who uh, got in trouble for that and had to like quit and be embarrassed and everything. Um, you know, any anybody sort of like trying to pressure you or like you know harass you about please fuck me online, please fuck me online. Like to me, like I don't see that as a big deal because you can just block them. You know, if you block them and they keep reaching out to you all over the place to bang them or something, then I guess it can become a problem. But you know what I mean? If you haven't blocked them everywhere yet and told them to stay away from you, um, you know, it's not a big deal to me. I don't even straight, gay or whatever. It's all the same thing. Again, and James just wasn't taking the hint. And apparently that's what James thing is. He likes to go after straight guys, not gay guys. He likes to go after straight guys and turn them gay, which is... Weird, very weird. And again, using his fame and money and all this other stuff to get what he wants. So a lot of people finding that very disgusted. So that was one <laughs> aspect. Then James, of course, announced his tour and he had fun. Is it weird that I find it hilarious? Like, is, <laughs> is that weird that I find this hilarious?
$500 VIP tickets, which people were saying that was ripping off his fans. I disagree on that one, but it's all part of the, the overall canceling of James Charles. But today, things, uh, the, the dam broke, if you will. And uh, it all came from James Charles' biggest supporters, really, a YouTuber known as Tati with over 6 million subscribers. She uploaded a video today that was the death blow of James titled, Bye Sister. Now I can simplify this video to you and I can simplify the drama that she has with James Charles down to the- I never thought I'd be thankful for Keem ever, but like I'm so thankful that I don't have to figure this all out myself because God damn do I not, not care about this. Basically, they're good friends and James Charles promoted a vitamin company which was directly in competition with Tati's own vitamins that she's trying to sell. Oh, I get it. Yep, James Charles is the face of their holiday collection, and I saw him do a really cool look, and it just made me want to try this palette. We are going to be taking a first look at the new Morphe palette. <laughs> Hello. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, thank you, like it? Not always had his best interest. And into thinking he's gay yet again, and somehow you're the victim. Does anybody else think that she is, um, she looks like, um, God, who's the wrestler? You know what I'm trying to say. She, she just came back to the WWE a little while ago. She looks like, um, God damn it. Somebody help me in the comments. She looks like, um, what the hell's wrong with me? I can't think of her name. Um, oh, you can kind of turn someone gay. But, Joe, th this will get you views. That's a good point, Jasmine. Yeah, but I'd have to make the video titled about this and then whatever else. So I'll probably, I can do a video on it once I study it a little bit. Mickey James, thank you, God. It's Mickey James. Drew, that was going to drive me nuts until I figured it out. She looks like Mickey James. You know, it's really disgusting to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood and don't quite have everything figured out. You are using your fame, your power, your money to play with people's emotions. You're threatening to ruin them. You're threatening to embarrass them. And you're doing that to have them behave sexually in your favor, even if they're straight. And you know what? That's not okay. That behavior is not okay. Whether you're a woman, a man, gay, straight, bi, whatever sexual orientation you are, that is your personal call and it is not someone else's to take. And you did it at my birthday dinner. And I made excuses for you then. You were talking in detail about things you wanted to do to the waiter. And when I said, James, he's straight. Your response was, doesn't matter, I'm a celebrity. So freaking gross. And you said that in front of my family, in front of my childhood friends. I had to call every one of them up the next morning and apologize on your behalf because it was so uncomfortable. Hey, man. He just wanted to fuck the waiter, you know? You know, people do this all the time. You know what I mean? Like like rich men do this. They, they're like, what's your name, Sarah? You know, Sarah? Oh, yeah. And then someone's like, you know, she's married, dude. Oh, yeah? You know, I have $50 million, right? You know, like, that's... So, to me... Like, all right. So, to me, while, yeah, what he is doing is kind of creepy or whatever you want to say, I feel no different about this than I felt about um, the guy from What Culture who had to run away and quit because he basically emailed women to have sex with them or to like f cyber with him and kind of said you know i'm adam blampier though you know what i mean like you should have sex with me um i don't have a problem with this it's sort of people who are very overly sexual and a very a little bit weird you know do stuff like this so the fact that he was like well i'm gonna hit on the waiter oh he's straight oh, i don't care you know i mean to me, I, I don't care that much about that. I mean, it's weird, and you're not going to have a lot of friends if you go around doing that, and you're for real. You know, you're going to offend people like she's offended, you know? But um, I'm not as... You're also going to get the shit kicked out of you someday, you know what I mean? But, like, somebody's going to beat the shit out of you. But other than that, you know, it's really um, a borderline thing for me. It's not a big deal. I see, like I said, rich white men do this rich black men, whoever, 
Doesn't matter. Everybody's everybody in power has done this. This guy's just saying it out loud to everybody. Everybody in power and with celebrity, not everybody, but lots of people, not everybody, lots of people with power and celebrity act like this. They act like this all the time. This is nothing new. This really isn't anything new. Now, I, I think she's upset because she saw this guy's, oh, he's a sweet gay guy and cover girl guy. Oh, it's he's so amazing and sweet and pure. Oh, wait, he's a creepy fuck. Oh, wait, gay people can be creepy too. Oh, like it's like uh, we all it's like that's what that's that's why she's so mad because she can't both. I just saw the guy's dick. I just saw a picture of his dick. I'm just kidding. That's somebody else's dick, though. I did see a dick, though. And I didn't want to see one. Absolutely unbelievable. So, I don't know. It's like I, I totally feel for Tati because obviously she has done everything she can right now. Um, I feel more. I feel more. I feel more upset about the fact that he's like advertising competitions brands. You know, he's kind of a sleazy dude, and he advertises competitions brands. Like, that's what I would be more upset about if I was her. Because I owe everybody, I owe everybody an explanation. Um, but most importantly, I owe two important people um, an apology. To Tati and James Westbrook. Um, Man, he's got a weird smile as he apologizes. It's a very weird. I'm sorry for everything that is going on and everything that I've put you through over the past few weeks in regards to the boy situation um boys have been a topic that i've talked a lot about on my social media journey and it's a topic that i wish i hadn't i'm just creeped out right now i'm sorry um I, I don't know. I guess, like, after all of that, I feel like I was just raped. I feel like I was raped. After watching all of that and dealing with this, I feel like at this point, I have been raped, okay? I feel like I have been, like, like raped by the by internet garbage at this point. Um, I have no idea what to tell you about that. I don't care. I don't know. Don't be friends with somebody who's uh, sleazy, I guess. If you don't like sleazy people, don't be friends with them. If you want to make a video exposing them, I guess, okay, whatever. You know, make a video like, the guy was sleazy, here's what he did, I didn't like it, whatever, that's it. That's all I get from the whole thing. That's what I get from, that's that's it, that's all I get from the whole thing. The guy feels like he's untouchable, the guy, girl, whatever it is, untouchable, has a lot of money, and uh, wants to do crazy shit, you know, I don't know. Uh, but I gotta get out of here. I'm running up against the time, unfortunately. And um, Joe, it's the hottest thing on YouTube, though. Really, Jesus. I guess I should be talking about. It. I mean, I'm talking about it right now. There's my opinion. I th who gives a shit? I hope he sleeps with somebody with AIDS and then fucking falls down a flight of stairs. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? <laughs> I mean, like I don't know. And I hope that that lady has a good time uh, in the future. Um, you know, using gay people as her pets. And then realizes that everybody's flawed. Straight, gay, or anything. Arush and Chu, what up, Aru? Take it easy, Joe. See you tonight. Yeah, I'll see you guys tonight for Out of Nowhere on my other channel. On my other channel. Uh, I talked a little bit about AEW on the other channel as well. That's up there. We'll talk about some AEW tonight on Out of Nowhere. Um, that's how lame YouTube is, Messy Mez says. Um, but yeah, we've hit the wall. JR Ford the third. what up? Um, I think that's about it. I'm, 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 I think we're done. Uh, pain is coming. Brennan and his cronies are done. What? What the hell are you talking about, Dave Rose? <laughs> Rose, what are you talking about? Rose, hit me up on Facebook, man. Maybe we can record something today. I just don't care what it. I don't even want to think about what it is, Dave. If you want to just talk and do a podcast, and maybe turn it into some Final Frontier shit, I'm down with that. Um. But yeah, some stuff's coming to the Patreon guys uh, this week. So by Friday, it'll be a few things up there for you. Not not on top of that, there'll be Morning Madness, of course, as well. Uh, look at what they're reporting on Jasmine. I'm gonna go look into it when I get off here. Okay, um, I'm very happy the Bruins won last night, three and zero. Happy about that. 
we got a bunch of chances to close this thing out now that I won't be able to watch on my TV. Uh, former CIA director John Brennan. Oh, okay, I see what you're talking about. Okay. Dumb and Dumber are going to write Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, we all knew they were writing Star Wars for a year now, over a year. You know, everyone's acting like, oh, my God, they're writing Star Wars. Like, we, we've said that for a year. This is why they rushed Game of Thrones. We said that, too. Everyone's surprised now. I'm not surprised. We knew this was coming. I mean, they, they, they're apparently good with source material and taking it and transforming it into movies. That's why they're going to be doing probably maybe like the Knights of the Old Republic or something because there's so much material to work with that they can then turn it into their shit, which is good, usually. Um, the problem is when they had to write stuff on their own and they didn't have the source material they just had what was going to happen hey here's what's going to happen but how you get there good luck you know and they weren't able to do what they did before so that's it what up sad sad hawk oh that's cool man if you didn't know a lot of people a lot of people legitimately didn't know a lot of people are just now finding out that these guys are writing star wars i guess i just find that hard to, i can't believe that people are just finding this out only only because we have been talking about it here for over a year. You know what I mean? These guys have been talked about for a long time with this. Um, but that being said, I'm done, guys. I gotta, I'm up against it. i got to get out of here. More videos coming today and uh, on Patreon as well. I'll be having a morning madness go up there. It's, it's turned into afternoon madness, but it's going up there. And uh, more throughout the week. I'll see you tonight for Out of Nowhere at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., right here. Uh, right on, sorry, not here, on the Joe Cronin Show channel. If you give a shit about wrestling, that's where you want to be. If you don't care about wrestling, then obviously you don't want to go over there. Probably. But you might miss something crazy. Goodbye.